media playback is not supported on this device Coventry City claimed a shock FA Cup third round victory over Premier League Stoke City as manager Mark Robbins called for Sky Blues fans to return to the club. Jordan Willis towering header put the League Two side ahead, before the defender felt Ramadan Sobhi after the break and Charlie Adam level from the spot. But right back Jack Grimmer fired his side back ahead from outside the area with 20 minutes to play and Coventry held on for an historic victory. After the game Stoke boss Mark Hughes was sacked following a run of six defeats in eight matches. 20 years ago Coventry were a Premier League side attracting home crowds of over 20,000 but this season, having been relegated to English football's fourth tier for the first time since 1959, and with continuing unrest under owners Sisu, the average attendance at the Rico Arena has fallen to an average of just 7,500. Media playback is not supported on this device, the atmosphere was outstanding and the supporters desperately want to grab onto something, Robin said of Saturday's 14,199 strong crowd, the lifeblood of the club. Some are staying away at the moment, but we want them back. I can't ask them to come, as it's so expensive. But we need every penny we can in the transfer market. We're trying to build something, Stoke showed their quality in the first period as two of manager Hughes' four changes justified their starts from the off. Stephen Ireland and Main Biram Juve twice combined well in the box but Stoke failed to take their chances and the home side took the lead through Willis, from debutant Jordan Maguire Drew's corner. The visitors turned the screw after the breakers first, half-hero Willis conceded a penalty, but when the Stoke players failed to close down Grimmer on the edge of the area, the defender took his chance and beat Jack Butland at his near post. There was a delay in play in the final minutes of the game as frustrations boiled over and a flare was thrown onto the pitch, but it was the Coventry fans who were left celebrating an unlikely win. City on the up media playback is not supported on this device in 1987 Coventry City beat Tottenham Hotspur 3-2 at Wembley to lift the FA Cup but in the 31 years since the Midlands club have endured a spectacular fall from grace. 20 years ago Coventry were a Premier League side, 10 years ago they were competing against Saturday's opponents Stoke in the Championship but this season they began life as a League 2 side. Off the field, the Sky Blues' unrest was compounded when they were put into administration in 2013 and they were forced to spend a year in exile in Northampton in 2013-14 because of a dispute over stadium rent. But despite the fans' frustration with owners Sisu, the side have made a bright start in League 2, winning four of the five games over the first of period to climb into the automatic promotion places. The end for Hughes a desperate run had plunged Stoke into the relegation zone and manager Hughes was in dire need of a win, even against the League 2 side in the FA Cup. But instead Stoke exited the competition to a team from the fourth tier or below, while themselves playing in the top flight for the first time since January 1938 in the 1-0 Premier League. Defeat by Newcastle on New Year's Day, a handful of Stoke supporters displayed banners demanding Hughes be sacked, and they had the way on Saturday evening when the Welshman's departure was confirmed. They should have had the quality to overcome a resurgent Sky Blues side but once again they lacked a clinical goal scorer and the banners came back out after Coventry's first goal. Media playback is not supported on this device. Juve made a bright start without hitting the target, while his strike partner Saido Verahino was barely noticeable for much of the game. And despite boasting a far stronger bench, with Peter Crouch and Eric Maxim Chupo Moing introduced in the latter stages, neither could make a meaningful contribution as Coventry's defence held. Strong under full fire at the end, Manchester United away would be perfect, what a manager said Coventry City manager Mark Robbins, for us it's brilliant, we're in the fourth round draw. Hopefully we'll get a big club away from home, Manchester United away would be perfect, I'm proud. Regardless of the current troubles at Stoke, and the pressure on them, we equipped ourselves really well. We went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. We could have been 3-0 up in the first half, Stoke manager Mark Hughes speaking before his sacking, it's clearly a difficult time for us. When we make mistakes they're getting penalised. We're not giving ourselves the right defensive platform at the moment and when that happens you're always vulnerable, clearly, the only way to quieten down the noise around the club is to win games. We need to turn it around and quickly. We're good enough in this league, we've proved it during my tenure, but we've got to be better in key moments we're all under pressure.
I can take the pressure and the focus. I'm not naive and I realize people will talk about my position. But we've got good owners who will make the right decisions for the club. They have done before and they'll do it again. Lineups go Ventry substitute a Stoke substitutes referee. Martin Atkinson attendance, 14,199 match stats show May team Coventry away team Stoke possession home 39% away 61% shot show May 7 away 24 shots on target oh May 4 away 4 corner show May 2 away 10 foul show May 6 away 8 live text posted at match ends Coventry City 2 Stoke City 1 full time posted at 90 feet 6 feet second half ends Coventry City 2 Stoke City 1 posted at 90 feet 5 feet attempt missed. Peter Crouch, Stoke City, header from the center of the box is just a bit too high following a corner. Posted at 90 feet 4 feet corner, Stoke City. Conceded by Jack Grimmer. Posted at 90 feet 2 feet attempt missed. Kurt Zuma, Stoke City, right footed shot from the center of the box is high and wide to the left. Posted at 89 feet corner, Stoke City. Conceded by Jordan Willis. Posted at 89 feet corner, Stoke City. Conceded by Jordan Willis. Posted at 89 feet attempt missed. Peter Crouch, Stoke City, right footed shot from the center of the box is just a bit too high. Posted at 88 feet corner, Stoke City. Conceded by Tom Bayliss. Posted at 86 feet attempt missed. May and Biram Duf, Stoke City, header from the right side of the six yard box is closed but misses to the right. Posted at 85 feet Mark McNulty, Coventry City, wins a free kick in the attacking half. Posted at 85 feet foul by Kurt Zuma, Stoke City, substitution posted at 85 feet substitution, Coventry City. Ryan Haynes replaces Jordan Shipley. Posted at 84 feet attempt blocked. Ramadan Selpi, Stoke City, left footed shot from the center of the box is blocked. Posted at 84 feet attempt blocked. Aim Biram Duf, Stoke City, right footed shot from the center of the box is blocked. Posted at 82 feet attempt missed. Maim Biram Duf, Stoke City, left footed shot from outside the box is high and wide to the left. Posted at 80 feet attempt blocked. Eric Maxim Chupo Mowing, Stoke City, right footed shot from the center of the box is blocked. Posted at 80 feet attempt saved. Eric Maxim Chupo Mowing, Stoke City, left footed shot from the center of the box is saved in the top left corner. Posted at 79 feet attempt blocked. Ido Berahino, Stoke City, right footed shot from the center of the box is blocked. Posted at 79 feet attempt saved. Peter Crouch, Stoke City, right footed shot from the left side of the box is saved in the center of the goal. Posted at 78 feet corner, Stoke City. Conceded by Jack Grimmer. Posted at 78 feet attempt blocked. Maim Biram Duf, Stoke City, header from the center of the box is blocked. Posted at 77 feet corner, Stoke City. Conceded by Jack Grimmer. Posted at 77 feet, Chris Stokes, Coventry City, wins a free kick in the attacking half. Posted at 77 feet foul by Peter Crouch, Stoke City, substitution posted at 75 feet substitution, Stoke City. Jedan Shachiri replaces Charlie Adam, substitution posted at 73 feet substitution, Stoke City. Eric Maxim Chupomong replaces Stephen Ireland, posted at 72 feet attempt missed. Stephen Ireland, Stoke City, right footed shot from outside the box misses to the left. Posted at 71 feet foul by Maxime Bayamu at Coventry City. Posted at 71 feet Joe Allen, Stoke City, wins a free kick in the defensive half. Goal, posted at 68 feet goal. Coventry City 2, Stoke City 1. Jack Grimmer, Coventry City, right footed shot from the right side of the box to the bottom left corner. Posted at 67 feet corner, Stoke City. Conceded by Chris Stokes. Substitution posted at 63 feet. Substitution, Coventry City. Ben Stevenson replaces Jordan Maguire Drew. Posted at 60 feet attempt missed. Kurt Zuma, Stoke City, header from very close range is just a bit too high following a corner. Posted at 59 feet corner, Stoke City. Conceded by Tom Davies. Posted at 57 feet foul by Peter Crouch, Stoke City, posted at 57 feet Jordan Willis, Coventry City, wins a free kick in the defensive half. Goal, posted at 54 feet goal.
Coventry City 1, Stoke City 1. Charlie Adam, Stoke City, converts the penalty with a left-footed shot to the bottom left corner. Posted at 54 feet penalty Stoke City. Ramadan Sobhi draws a foul in the penalty area. Posted at 54 feet penalty conceded by Jordan Willis, Coventry City, after a foul in the penalty area. Show more update is goal.